بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو کیمسٹری کلاس فور گریڈ نائن ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا پراپرٹیز آف لکوڈ اینڈ اٹ از پارٹ ٹو بیکاز وی ہیو کمپلیٹیڈ پارٹ ون وتھ سم ادر پراپرٹیز لائک بوائلنگ پوائنٹ ویپر پریشر سیٹرا ناؤ وی آر completing today with the freezing point diffusion and density these topics are mentioned in your book page number 88 and 89 of chapter number 5 physical state of matter first topic which we are going to study is freezing point so what is freezing point freezing point so write down the definition of the freezing point first that is the temperature it is basically what is the meaning of point temperature the temperature at which the vapor pressure vapor pressure of a liquid vapor pressure of a liquid state becomes equal to the vapor pressure of vapor pressure of the solid state the solid state and it is achieved at dynamic equilibrium dynamic equilibrium is called freezing point basically what is freezing point ye wo temperature hota hai jis par liquid state ka vapor pressure solid state ke vapor pressure ke barabar ho jata hai اور یہ اسٹیٹ آپ کو کب حاصل ہوتی ہے جب دونوں سائڈ پر ایک توازن یا بیلنس قائم ہو جاتا ہے جسے ہم ڈائنامک اکلیبریم کہتے ہیں ڈائنامک اکلیبریم کی مثال ایک ایسے ترازو یا بیلنس کی ہوتی ہے جو دونوں طرف چیزوں کو ریٹ کو یا جو بھی آپ کی گیون چیزیں ہوتی ہیں سبسٹانسز ہوتے ہیں یا پراپرٹیز ہوتی ہیں ان کو ایکول کرتا ہے تو ایک سائڈ پہ اگر آپ ویپر پریشر جو ہے وہ لکوڈ کا رکھیں دیٹ از ویپر پریشر وی پی فار ویپر پریشر آف لکوڈ دین اٹ کمز ایکولس ٹو ویپر پریشر آف سالڈ سو دس اکویلٹی جو کہ دونوں طرف برابر ہے بیسکلی کالڈ دس اکویلٹی از کالڈ ڈائنامک اکلیبریم سو فریزنگ پوائنٹ از دیٹ ٹیمپریچر ایٹ ویٹ دا ویپر پریشر آف لکوڈ بیکمز ایکول ٹو دا ویپر پریشر آف solid and this happens or achieves at dynamic equilibrium next heading is examples of freezing point that is in front of you now i'll write the uh, freezing point of some common liquids starting from first one diethyl ether diethyl ether having boiling point minus 116 degrees celsius number 2 ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol freezing point is again in minus 115 degrees celsius the third liquid is water the most common one and the freezing point of water is 0 degrees celsius that water freezes that is the liquid water freezes into ice at 0 degree celsius number 4 an octane that is the normal octane having 10 carbon atom in this compound and the freezing point is minus i can write here is equal to as well so you can understand what is minus sign here so it is minus 57 degree celsius and the fifth one is acetic acid acetic acid having formula ch3 
C double O H. So, what is the uh, what is the freezing point of acetic acid? It is sixteen point six degree Celsius. So, these are the some freezing point of common liquids. The next property of liquids are diffusion. So now the heading is diffusion. Now in the case of diffusion of any liquid or diffusion in liquid, as we know the liquid molecules are always in a state of continuous motion. Why they are always in the state of continuous motion? Because the liquid molecules have spaces among them due to which they can freely move among these or between these spaces. So they are free to move and go where they want. Clear? So what is diffusion in the case of liquid? As you know that they move from higher concentration to the lower concentration and they mix up with the molecules of the other liquid so they form a homogeneous mixture. So what is diffusion in case of liquid? Basically we know that liquid molecules liquid molecules always move from move from their higher concentration where they are in higher amount higher concentration to their lower concentration to their lower amount or lower concentration and due to this activity they actually mix up with each other mix up with one another forming a homogeneous mixture and form a homogeneous mixture now this definition of diffusion that is related to the liquid can be best understood by this activity diffusion in liquid can be best understood by this activity for this purpose you need a jar containing water a dropper and a bottle of ink so first of all i'll take some drops of ink and add it into this water so i'm pouring and adding some of the drops of ink in the jar containing water what happens after some time as you can observe in it so when a few drops of ink are added in a water ink molecules move around and after a while spread in whole of the jar which show the diffusion has taken place so you can observe it very clearly that after few minutes the drops of inks will be sp spread throughout in the water normally the process of diffusion is very slow in the case of liquid as compared to the gases the reason is that the liquid molecules have high or more intermolecular forces as compared to the gases so therefore the molecules bind with each other and and they require or need some time to separate apart from each other now you can observe that the liquid finally that is the drop of ink is finally mixing with the water and at a time it reaches that 
the whole drops of ink will be dissolved in this water. Now you can observe that after mixing or forming a homogeneous mixture, finally drops of ink are dissolved homogeneously in this water. So you, you can observe very clearly. So this is the simple activity to show that how diffusion occurs in liquids. So what did you observe in the previous activity? Actually, after taking a jar containing water, we observe that हमने क्या देखा हमने देखा कि हमने जब एक जार लिया जिसमें हमने पानी लिया हुआ था और उसमें हमने कुछ ड्रॉप्स इंक के डाले इंक ड्रॉप्स तो जैसे ही इंक के ड्रॉप्स पानी में गए तो यहां पर जहां पर ये इंक का पहला ड्रॉप आपका गिरा दिस इज बेसिकली द हाई कंसंट्रेशन ये हाई कंसंट्रेशन थी लिक्विड की जो कि आपने इंक की शक्ल में ली आहिस्ता आहिस्ता आपने देखा कि अराउंड दिस कंसंट्रेटेड पॉइंट इंक के जितने भी मॉलिक्यूल्स थे वो इसके गिर्द फैलते चले गए और एक वक्त ऐसा आया कि जो आपका पूरा वाटर था यानी बहुत ही स्लो मोशन में काम हुआ और पूरा वाटर ही आपका ब्लू कलर में तब्दील हो गया जो ये इंडिकेट कर रहा है कि नॉर्मली द मूवमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ लिक्विड अकर्स फ्रॉम हायर कंसंट्रेशन टू देयर लोअर कंसंट्रेशन यानी जहां पर ड्रॉप गिरा वो हाई कंसंट्रेशन को जाहिर कर रहा है और जहां से ये मूवमेंट शुरू होने के बाद पूरे पानी को ब्लू कलर में ला रही है या ब्लू में चेंज कर रही है उसको आप कहेंगे लो कंसंट्रेशन तो हमेशा मूवमेंट ऑफ लिक्विड मॉलिक्यूल्स कहां से कहां मूव करते हैं फ्रॉम लो टू हायर और हायर टू लोअर ये आपने यहां से अंदाजा लगाना है तो हमने देख लिया कि जहां पर ड्रॉप गिरा वो हाई कंसंट्रेशन है और जहां पर आपका लिक्विड मॉलिक्यूल स्प्रेड होते होते स्कैटर्ड होके एक होमोजेनियस फॉर्म में आ गया दैट एरिया इज नॉर्मली रेफर टू लो कंसंट्रेशन एरिया so always the movement of molecules in liquid takes place from high concentration to its lower concentration so it is clear now the next heading is factors affecting diffusion there are many factors that affect the diffusion of liquid starting from intermolecular forces size of molecules shapes of molecules and temperature first factor that affect the diffusion is intermolecular forces as we know that liquids have strong intermolecular forces as compared to the gases but in case if these forces are weak if these forces are weak what happens or what effect will be produced on the diffusion so those liquids having weak intermolecular forces can diffuse faster as compared to the liquids having strong intermolecular forces in the similar manner the size of molecules can also affect diffusion how that big size molecules big sized molecules can diffuse slowly as compared to the small size molecules so here the diffusion process will be slow to observe this thing that the size of molecules can also affect the diffusion of liquid we can take two beakers containing water so these are two beakers in which we can take water and afterwards will add alcohol in one beaker while honey which you have shared kehte hain into the other beaker 
what happens on the process of diffusion in both cases. In case of honey, as we know that it is viscous, it is viscous and have, it, have big size molecules in them. Having big size molecules. As compared to the alcohol, which is a thin liquid, which is not viscous and small sized molecules. It contains the small size molecules that normally the big size molecules such as honey, as you have seen in honey, can diffuse slowly. As compared to the small size molecule which is present in alcohol, so in this case diffusion will be fast. So I can write the result in this manner that the fast diffusion occurs in case of alcohol while the slow process of diffusion occurs in the case of honey. Now move to another factor shapes of molecules. In this case we have two types of shapes. One is called the regular shaped molecules of liquid while the other are called irregular shaped molecules. Basically, the regular shaped molecules diffuse quickly as compared to irregular shaped molecules. And what is the reason behind? Because they can slip, that is the regular shaped molecules can slip over easily and move faster while irregular shaped Molecules cannot slip over and therefore the diffusion in this case is slow. The last factor is temperature. So diffusion increases by increasing temperature. What is the relationship of temperature and diffusion? That with the increase of temperature, the process of or phenomena, phenomena of Diffusion will also be increased in case of liquid. What is the reason behind? Because at high temperature, the intermolecular forces among the liquid molecules are weak. So, molecules can easily far apart from each other or separate from each other and therefore their movement that is the diffusion will be quick. Now we move on to the last property of the liquid which is density. So basically what is density first? As we know that density is related or dependent on two types of quantities. One is called mass and other one is called volume. The density of liquid also depends upon its mass and volume. So these two important factors also affect the density of the liquid. Normally the liquids are denser than gases. Liquids are denser than gases. Do you know why? Why liquids are denser than gases? The reason is because the molecules of liquids are closely packed and the spaces between their molecules are negligible. Because liquid ke molecules ko agar hum gases ke molecules se compare kare, to in ke molecules ek dusre se kareeb kareeb jode hote hain aur in ke darmiyan spaces bhi itni zyada nahi hoti, na hone ke barabar hoti hain. As compared to gases, if you look at gas ke molecules, the most important thing is that the gas is very high and the one molecule is very molecule se kafi fastle par hota hai. Jiske wajah se hum keh sakte hai ke liquids ki density as compared to gases zyada hoti hai. As the liquid molecules have strong intermolecular forces, so they cannot expand freely and have a fixed volume. If we will talk about that, what about the liquids and gases containing or having their intermolecular forces? So these forces that, is, that are called intermolecular forces, 
are strong enough in case of liquid as compared to the gases what is the meaning of this ke liquids mein intermolecular forces strong hoti hain as compared to the gases jahan par ye forces weak hoti hain jiske wajah se liquid ke molecules mein mazboot taaqatein molecules ko itni mazbooti se aapas mein jode rakhti hain ki wo azad hokar ek jagah se dusri jagah phail nahi sakte jiski wajah se unka volume fixed hota hai they have a fixed volume so this will become the reason why liquids have fixed volume you can also write the answer in the same manner why the liquids have fixed volume because the liquids molecules have strong intermolecular forces among them and therefore they cannot expand freely they cannot move from one place to another freely that is why the liquids are or molecules of the liquid are not free from each other as you have seen in the form of gases so they have a fixed volume like gases they cannot occupy all the available volume of the container that is the reason why the densities of the liquid are high so we can also say that liquids are denser that is they have more density than gases and the reason again we can say even they can occupy or you can also say they cannot occupy all the um, available volume that is provided to them so therefore they have high density as compared to the as compared to the gases now we are going to explain the density of liquid with the help of examples so here we have two different substances number 1 density of water and number 2 density of air density of water is 1 g per cubic centimeter while the density of air is 0.001 g per centimeter cube as we observing as we are observing that density of water is more than the density of air this is the reason behind that why drops of rain fall downward so suppose these are clouds and the drops of rain water are falling down on the earth because they are heavier they are denser than the air or the gaseous form of water so we can say the liquid form of water that is the liquid water is more denser than as compared to as compared to gaseous water that is in the form of water vapors and present in air now we can take another examples of density of liquid in this manner that the densities of different liquids vary from each other what is the meaning of vary they are different they are not same in all cases so that's why we can say we can observe this kerosene oil floats over water while honey bee or the uh, which is basically the honey from the honey bee settles down in the water again you can take to beakers containing water two beakers containing water you have to add honey in one beaker while in the other beaker you will take kerosene oil kerosene oil honey is more denser as compared to the kerosene oil which is less dense less dense so which substance that is which liquid will float in the water so honey will be sink to the bottom while kerosene oil floats over the surface of water which shows that kerosene oil is not heavier it is lighter as compared to the honey